In this episode, we are laying the ventilation ductwork from the mechanical room to the rest of our underground house. It's unheated air, so we're using high-density polyethylene pipe, and it all needs to be sloped back to the mechanical room in the basement. Ducts radiate out from there in all directions. As per usual, this fun starts with digging. We had included an opening for this pipe when we shot the walls, and now we're threading through pieces of 8 inch diameter HDPE double wall pipe through and connecting them. Here I was trying to close off the one end of the pipe with a little origami, but I didn't like it. So the next day I came back and I made an end cap with a piece of insulation and a coupling section, and that clicked on nice and securely. The next step is strapping these down. The tubes are fairly heavy on their own, but when you add that liquid concrete, they also become extremely buoyant. So I needed something to hold them down securely. I used these leftover metal straps and screw them with tapcons down into the wide footings. Of course, the slope back to the mechanical room was critical. I don't want any puddles forming in these tubes. However, due to the footings in this section of the build, I only had about 4 inches to play with over about 26 feet, which is barely enough to exceed code. So I chiseled down the footing at the one end a bit just for a few extra inches. I used pink XPS rigid foam to form the registers. More on that later. Of course, due to the slope, the registers nearer the mechanical room are deeper than the ones at the far end. This was all just while we were waiting for the Gunite crew to fit us into their really busy schedule. Since we didn't have a lot of other things we could do, I also took some time to help the boys get started on their tree fort. I just wanted that floor to be securely and safely in place, and then they could take it from there. The next time we were out, we moved over to digging the living room ducts. Here we didn't have any footings in the way, so slope wasn't a problem. I, again, I'm thankful for that nice sugar sand, it just makes everything so much easier. This is how the ducts looked at the connection to the mechanical room. I had a short section of pipe poured in place with that shotcrete wall, and then I used a soil tight coupling to connect the next piece to that. I should also explain that these are double wall pipes, which means that the inside is smooth so that any water or condensation can drain back down to the mechanical room at the low end of each run. This pic is showing the trench for the office ventilation tube and the previous piece that we connected it to. Once all the tubes were in place, we could start to backfill. In the background, right around that corner there, I'm working on attaching the register to the office end of the tube. Here's a pic of that. As with all the other registers, I'd used a self-leveling laser to mark the floor level. And then I added some blocks of rigid insulation to form the register, and adjusted them to be level with the floor. And then I taped it all up to keep the concrete out. I also needed to keep the dirt back to make sure that the concrete went all around this one area. And then after the pour, I can just scoop this stuff out and leave the void of the register. That remaining cross trench is for the radon tubes. Here we are adding the radon tubes in the bedrooms. This part of the job is much easier because there are no slope requirements or any other issues to worry about. I, I think it's safe to say we overdid it with these, using 4 inch perforated HDP pipe covered in landscapers fabric, and then also the amount of pipe that we put. Uh, for instance, here in the master bedroom you can see that three pipes from the master bedroom come together into the one branch trunk before heading down the hall. This pic shows one of the branch pipes we had come from each bedroom. We didn't use any fancy connections between the pipes, we just cut a hole in the side of the trunk pipe and then shoved the perpendicular branch pipe against it and then covered the intersection in a bunch of pebbles wrapped in landscapers fabric etc. No worries about back pressure or high flow rates in this situation. Around that corner, the flexible pipe connects to the PVC radon tubes coming up from the basement, goes vertical, and then exhausts out the side of the mezzanine. Now that the floor is poured, let's slow down and take a look at what we have. This is downstairs in the mechanical room. The lower two rows are earth tubes that let air into the house. 
and the ducts near the ceiling will take that fresh air out and distribute it to the rest of the house. Eventually, though, I'll need to build an air handling system between those two sets. Even without any fans, you can see that the earth tubes already work pretty well passively. This air blowing in has traveled through 250 feet of temperature moderating earth, and it actually feels pretty nice. That left duct is the one that goes to the bedrooms. The top of it is about 7 inches below the ceiling or 19 inches below the floor surface. These ones on the right go to the living room and my office and other places. If we go to the first bedroom and measure the depth, it is just over 3 inches. Now into the next bedroom, which is about eight foot further along the pipe. It's just under two and a half inches, so just barely passing code. You can see the galvanized strap that was holding it down. I guess that isn't needed anymore. The next register is about 12 feet further along, and it's less than one inch below the floor. Here is the register from my office on the other end of the house. I was going to cut out that plastic, but then it occurred to me that I could just drill it out and then critters couldn't get in. Of course Sherry liked that idea much better. This is just the rough subfloor, but the register will eventually just drop in like this. Well, that's all I have to say about that. Right about this time we got a call from the Gunite crew scheduling us for the next week, so that will be the next video. Hit subscribe to see it when it comes out.